everybody, it's me, CryptoBen, and today, guys, we're going to talk about Floki because this meme coin right now is exploding, so we have to check out what's been happening here to Floki. But do remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Okay, let's check it out. Here we are, a core market cap right now. The market cap here for Floki is at 1.4 billion dollars the volume here is actually also at 1.2 billion dollars so massive volume here happening to floki if we check out the last seven days here for this coin we can see that we did increase by 310 percent which is a massive increase for only just seven days wait that's basically more than 3x so what's been happening here we can see that floki is really listed on the major exchanges as it's like binance get.io uh, we got here KuCoin, Bybit, so OKX, so massive exchanges did release Floki. So that means that basically this, can, this coin can continue to have mass amounts of volume because there's a lot of traders on these big exchanges. So if we check out like what's Floki's plan, actually their plan is the Metaverse. They're really working on the Metaverse right now. If we check out this, we got the Floki ecosystem. We have Valhalla, the Floki play to earn NFT Metaverse, okay. TokenFi, uh, all-in-one tokenization flat platform, staking, so you can stake your Floki tokens and earn tokens, our sister token as a reward, awesome, we got FlokiFi, the future of decentralized finance, NFTs, that's also interesting, we got Floki prepaid cards, okay, Floki places, so merchandise, NFT marketplaces, University of, Fl of Floki, so crypto education platform, so we got some new, oh, look at this now, Floki News. Let's check out this, what did they post here? Saying here, Floki hits records of 494 million in total, total value locked. So Floki has crossed $494 million in total value locked across two of its key ecosystems. So products just one day after reaching an all-time high of 400 million. So Floki staking has 378 million and Floki file locker has 150 million. So people are, are basically... Is taking the Floki tokens and earning through passive income. This is super interesting to see that this amount of money is actually being locked here in Floki. This is super smart. So to put this into perspective, this impressed the TVL exceeds the combined total value locked of other top meme coins such as Pepe, Whiff, Bong, Doge, and Ship. So this shows that Floki isn't just a globally recognized meme coin, but also has the strongest fundamentals among them. So boasting the highest utility adoption rate so what is happening here basically people are gonna hold their coins here for floki the coins are locked they're earning passively more and more but still seeing this that people are not selling their floki is really really good that means we're gonna have long-term holders here for this coin but what's happening else here we have this massive post here saying floki developers plan to burn 11 million dollar tokens okay so reducing supply by 190 billion floki so the figure represents two percent of the token circulation supply of the number of tokens on the open market so floki developers will, be, will float a proposal to burn two percent of the token circulation supply to increase scarcity and bump network security for the dog team crypto platform so uh, we're proposing a burn of uh, they were pretty right they were, were pretty right. So bullish momentum is here. We're doing pretty much okay right now. But but can we continue to go up? Right now, I think it's because the market that even Pepe coin here is surging. So Bitcoin actually going up influences Pepe to increase even more. People love meme coins. The biggest problem I see, I'm seeing right now is that we're kind of in the over, overbought zone. So that could be a hindrance. That could be a pretty big problem. But still, that doesn't mean it's going to stop now. There's still a lot of potential here to continue to go up. So what are the next levels? If you ac actually take this, place it here, we can see the next potential levels. That's only if we break through and continue to go up. The next potential level could be here, basically at, let me just place it here, at 0 0.00043. So 430, actually. If we do measure that, increase from uh, let's say if you bought right now if you bought right now all the way to here that's about a 30 yeah 31 percent increase but from this high to this high it's about an 18 percent increase that is a possibility here the market is moving we're going up more money going into crypto people are taking uh, 
wins right now. People are selling, taking some wins here. Of course, they're taking profits, which is absolutely okay. You always take profits when you can. Whoever bought like Pepe here in the lows, maybe even the, even the lowest lows, but whoever bought Pepe in the lows, let's go back here to one day chart. But so Golosop aims to boost adoption of the DEX and its recently launched chain with addition of token rewards. So users can earn Golosop tokens with each trade on the exchange. Plus, a referral, no, uh, referral model enables further earnings opportunities. So there is a referral model. Um, Brink added the reward token can be uh, can help make uh, conducting your everyday businesses and rewarding experiences for users at any scale. From the average user making a couple of trades to best in uh, best in class market makers making millions of transactions. So saying here also, the all swap ecosystem is based on an on chain order book, much like a uh, central exchange, but actually on chain. You get a concept similar to liquidity pool, but it is much more tightly controlled. You accept a price. There isn't really the native concept of slippage at this time. With this, what this means is that your tokens don't have your wallet until a swap actually happens. Okay, so your tokens don't leave your wallet, so they're in your wallet. Okay, you aren't putting them into a single swap address or something like that. The whole deep in part of Gala narrative deserves a whole thread of its own. There you go. So, massive moves here from Gala, doing some really, really interesting work. But let's check here the price here. If you go for the last four hours, we can see what's been happening. Right now, like I said, we do have um, a bounce off actually going burnt within the week. Stay tuned for more information. So, there you go. And what's been happening here is that uh, they did say 11 million, but now some time that passed and those coins are worth a lot more so now they're worth 27 million so now the burn is going to be a lot bigger so imagine burning 27 million dollar worth of coins that's a lot of money <laughs> that's a lot of money but still seeing this is pretty much amazing so yeah interesting things are happening here to floki let's check out the chart here so if we measure from this top to all the way to here We've seen some interesting moves happening. So basically, uh, the next target, if Loki continues to go up, the next target should be 0 0.00020. So this is awesome. If we do measure from where we are right now to that level, we can see an increase of 37%. So uh, can Floki continue to go up? Well, it all depends on the crypto market. Right now, Bitcoin has been going up a lot. In the last seven days, I think we increased by 30%. So yeah, we're passing... We're doing a lot here for Bitcoin. We just, I want to check out, did we hit the all-time high? Yeah, we still didn't hit the all-time high, but we did hit this all-time high. We passed it, but we're pretty close. We're getting to that number, and Bitcoin has continued to go up. The weirdest thing that's happening right now is that Bitcoin never soared to its all-time high before the halving. So that's why this is all so interesting and new. But... Like I said, because the crypto market is going up, we can see a lot of meme coins. I think Pepe is also going up with the market. So I think the possibility for it to go up is pretty much possible, but all depends on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin gets rejected right now and makes reversal, a little bit of reversal, then I don't think we can continue to go up. But if Bitcoin slowly continues to go up to reach, like let's say, up to $70,000, then yeah, Floki could continue also to go up. Because Bitcoin that dictates the market. All depends on Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin goes up, there's a chance here that Floki and the rest of the coins can go up with it. But if it goes down, the then most of the market will also go down with Bitcoin. So and plus we still have the burn. So the burn is happening. They still didn't burn. And when they do burn, we're gonna probably see an even bigger increase. So yeah. This is going to be super interesting to see what's going to happen more to Floki. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it here for this video. Hope you did enjoy. If you didn't, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Bye!